What is going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing and I actually got the boxes right here. I got these from Ami Ami obviously and I purchased them uh, last year. I was supposed to get both of these originally in January. I got this one at the end of January and I barely got this one about two three days ago. Uh, I was supposed to get uh, both of these shipped at the same time but for whatever reason Ami Ami emailed me saying that they couldn't ship everything at the same time. So I had to wait a little bit for this one. Uh, that's why I'm barely recording right now. And um, yeah, this one's Asuna from SAO. Hopefully you guys have seen that anime. There's a lot of people that don't like it, but I personally, I love it. Uh, this was about 14,800 yen. And this is, oh, you guys are in for a treat for this one because this is the bunny version of Taiga from uh, Toradora. If you guys haven't seen that anime, I recommend that one too. Uh, and there's some extra goodies in this one. Uh, this is about 26,800 yen and both of these are without the shipping um, But yeah, I'm actually excited to start opening these boxes and um, Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video and uh, I have an announcement at the end of the video Hopefully you stick around. So let's just get to it Okay, you guys so first we have this box right here, which is Asuna and I believe this is uh, the manufacturer is hobby stock and this is the one scale, I believe, of the dress uh, shirt version. I don't know if you guys have seen. You guys can also, uh, if you guys are familiar with uh, my uh, my anime collection or my figure collection, something like that, uh, you guys can check which uh, which figure I'm talking about. Uh, but I'm actually gonna rip this real quick, just so I can have a, a better access to the box. And I'm actually excited to open this one because she's actually one of my favorite uh, characters from the from SAO. And we have the card right here from Amiami. Ami. If you're familiar with shopping with Amiami, Ami, you know that they usually give you a, a little art card. It says, uh, thank you for shopping with us. There's a little art in the back or in the front, whichever way you're looking from. It's actually kind of cute. And I collect this uh, art card, so it's a plus for me. And here we have, oh my God, the box is beautiful. It has like a nice, uh, I like the wrapping, the, the protection that they add to it. So the color of this box, I would say is like a pinkish peach color. I don't know if you guys have seen the this figure on pre-order, uh, it's from Hobby Stock. And uh, it's the dress shirt or the white shirt version of Asuna Yuki or Yuki Asuna, however you pronounce it, however you want to say it. We're just gonna get to it right here. Get rid of the of the tape. And I think I did mention that this was the one seven scale. I think that's what it said. And this figure is so beautiful because it's so simple. It's Asuna. Just sitting down with a cup of coffee or some tea, whatever you want to think. She's drinking. She's just sitting on the pillow, comfy, relaxing. Get rid of the tape first. And if you guys do watch SAO, uh, let me know down in the comments who's your favorite character. There's a lot of favorite characters that I have from that uh, anime. Uh, but Asuna is by far my favorite. It's, uh, it's not my waifu, how some people would say it. Uh, but she's she's my favorite character from SAO just because she's um she seems like the type of uh, girl to be loyal. She's she's really loyal. You know, sticking by uh, Kirito's side, with thick and thin. Unboxing. Nice, wow. The details of the cup is pretty cool. The shirt, all the wrinkles that, you know, a shirt would come with, it's included in them. Let me put all the plastic aside, just so you get a better view. The art cart, don't wanna wrinkle it. Ooh, careful, no scuffs. So here we have the figure right here, and the color is beautiful color of her hair. I wish it would have been a little bit darker, but honestly, it's it's nothing to, uh... oh, so the arm comes off? 
yeah, the arm comes off for whatever reason. I guess you can attach it better. Both of the arms come out. This one, you can detach it too. And as you can see, you can, uh, you can reattach it. Don't freak out if you got this figure and then you start thinking that you just broke, you just broke it. And as you can see, the little pillow or whatever she's um, sitting on um, has like a little, a little place where she can be put. So that's where she's gonna be sitting. You just put her like that, and she fits right in, just like a glove. It's actually pretty beautiful. So if you put her on like this, then her feet will, she will lift. Oh, there you go. I had a little bit of a dumbass moment. <laughs> But she fits right in like that. Or you could put her like that, however you want. And then you have her like this. It's cool. I like the details on the pillow, the hair. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, the color of her hair, I wish it could have been a little bit darker. I mean, the skin tone though, it looks pretty good. Uh, as you can see, she's, she has the, uh, the dress shirt open. There's nothing showing, obviously, but uh, uh, it, it kind of teases you. <laughs> I like it. It's a cute figure. It's a cute, sexy figure, you know? That's why I liked it, because I like, I like stuff like that. I like etchy stuff. I like cute stuff. This is pretty cute. This is uh, a combination of both. So this is pretty cool. The eyes, the, the face is pretty good too. Cause usually, you know, there's not usually, but sometimes when you get a figure, uh, the face doesn't really match. So you kind of regret buying the figure. Uh, I definitely don't regret buying this figure because I already kind of knew what she was gonna come looking like. So this is pretty cool. I love her. We'll see where I put her later on. All right guys, so now for the main event. Uh, get this box right here and I didn't tell you guys what's actually inside here aside from the aside from the bunny figure because I want it to be a surprise it's it's definitely nothing big it's not like an extra figure uh, but it's a couple stuff that I that I liked it was pretty cheap and it's also um, one of my favorite figures definitely top five uh, that I got the the merch from here's another art card from Amiami same stuff and uh, here's the first one let me unpackage everything first and here we have Taiga Aisaka in the flesh not really but oh this is the other one right here. Some, some paper, nothing big. And here we are. So first, I'm gonna put Taiga aside first real quick. And then we're gonna get to this one. So this is, drum roll please. Can you see? Yeah, you can kind of see what it was coffee mug <laughs> can you guys guess who it is from this is one of my favorite characters definitely one of my waifus c2 and it says pizza girl it says payment it's on lelouch is my pizza ready yet and i'm i'm honestly i'm not a coffee mug type of person i'm, a, I'm not the type of person to wake up Pour, uh, pour some coffee in and then you know just drink the uh, read the newspaper or anything like that but uh, I really like this mug it's one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite animes so I just had to get it maybe you know I'll put some uh, green tea uh, something and I'll just be able to use that one and this is this is a sticker 
again from Code Geass. Both of these are from Code Geass, the anime. And this is uh, Lelouch V. Britannia commands you. And hopefully you guys have seen that anime because I think, I don't know about anyone else, but that's in my top five animes of all time. Uh, and I'm only including uh, season one, season two, and the movie. And that's about it. I know there's another uh, Code Geass, uh, but I honestly haven't gone uh, around to watch that one. But these, these little things, I don't know. I just had to get them. It's a stick. I still don't know where I'm going to put this. Maybe on my uh, mini fridge. Maybe on my laptop or on my desktop. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where I can put these ones. And put these ones aside because I don't want to break the mug or bend the sticker. And now we can get to the main event, which is another bunny girl. And you guys know that I'm kind of obsessed with bunny girls. I had to get this one because honestly, uh, the only reason why I watched this anime was because my brother, uh, at the time when he had Netflix, he was watching this anime and he had barely just started watching this anime. So I just sat down um, and I started watching this anime. Uh, it's a slice of life type of anime. So if you're not into that type of anime, I can I guess you can kind of skip it, but it has its cute moments. Uh, you know, Taiga being one of our favorite sunderes or yanderes, whichever it is. There's out there. I don't even know which one's which. So there's, there's not a lot of tape around here. So we can kind of open this one easily. Man, this fucking hair. <laughs> so we have some protection right here next to her hair. Some bubble wrap. Some more plastic. Oh, it smells like brand new. Wow. Dude, the details on the hair. Usually uh, freeing is not known for like having a lot of details on on their hairs because it's just kind of like a they just add the hair to like just a piece of hair and then that's it you know they don't really focus on details but this one i feel like freeing is doing a bit of a better job with these new figures like um i don't know if you guys saw my video from uh, uh a couple what is it uh, a month ago or two months ago from yumiko and um yumiko's hair was a bit more detailed compared to uh, the other uh, bunny figures, the old type of bunny figures. Plastic. Let me just get the, the bunny ears out so we can start. Put this to the side. And this is the part that goes on this, yeah, I think it goes on this heel. Mm -hmm. This is the little clear um, part that we have to put in the heel. If you're a collector of the bunnies, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So we kind of have to. I hate doing this part because there's always that risk. You don't want to break the figure. Especially with these prices that they be charging. Just have to put it. This is definitely good. I think I got it. Wow. I think this one goes right here on her right side. And this is the left bunny ear. It's a little bit floppy, so her left floppy bunny ear. And wow. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful figure. So as you can see the base, it's a little bit of an uh, orange, peach type of color. It kind of matches her, her little, her little tie, her little bow that she's got around the neck. 
and it, uh, the box, I didn't even get to the box, but the box is pretty beautiful because obviously this is the title of Toradora. Uh, Taiga Aisaka bunny version, quarter scale figure. And look at that, look at the box too. This is the back of the box, if you guys can see. This is one, one of the sides. This is the other side. It's beautiful, beautiful box. And the the bunny suit is pretty pretty cool. It's I feel like it's like the rest of the other bunny figures, like the other bunny figures. It's not white. It's more of a pearl white, if you will. Um, but yeah, this definitely suits her. I like the fact that they. Um, I'm not sure if this is why why they added that pose, but I have a feeling that's what it is. Um, so her name is Taiga, Taiga Aisaka. Taiga sounds like tiger. Uh, I don't know. I'm only putting uh, two and two together. So maybe she's just doing that expression because, you know, she's a, a version of a tiger and she wants to be ferocious, but she's cute at the same time. So it kind of figures. And um, yeah, um, I like this figure. Uh, I think I'm going to put this figure on this side because on this side, I already have two figures with the, with the two uh, white bunny suits. So I'm gonna be putting it on this one to kind of even it out, if you will. Uh, also, I did say I, I have an announcement. Um, hold up, let me show this figure a little bit more. I just like this figure. I also have a couple more figures on the way. Not on the way, but I have them pre-ordered through Amiami. Um, hopefully, you know, I think those were gonna come out I want to say, what is it, March, February? I think they come out May or June. I think I have like one or two that come out in May and a couple in June. June being my most expensive, I think I have to pay over uh, 90,000 yen. I'm not sure, but uh, God help me. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to, how I'm going to do it, but uh, I know I'll manage. I just like uh, to collect figures, you know, that I like mostly bunny figures. And um, yeah, I, I said I had an announcement. Uh, I'm actually going to be streaming hopefully by the end of this month. I'll be streaming already and I'm going to be posting uh, some of the clips to this channel. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to put uh, to make another YouTube channel and then just put uh, post them right there, upload them right there. Uh, simply because I'm not big enough. If I start seeing, you know, that people uh, don't like to, don't like me mixing my 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 vlogging videos, my streaming videos, all together with my uh, unboxing videos, then I'll probably, you know, think about making another channel. But as of now, I'll be posting them in the same channel right here. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna be showing you guys at the end of the video. Uh, what this uh, bunny figures and the Asuna uh, figure what they look what they look like in a close-up uh, With a better lighting of course and um, yeah Hopefully if you guys like uh, if you guys like this video make sure to like and subscribe uh, Hopefully I can post a, uh, another video as soon as um What is it like I said May or June but I'm, that's why I'm trying to upload more videos, uh, even if I have to like blog or if I have to um, stream. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that I had a bit of a of a dumbass moment because let me show you guys right now. Okay, you guys. So I said I had a bit of a, a dumbass moment because actually I recorded a separate video, and it pains me to say this to say this that. Um, I recorded this video that I had planned for you guys and uh, I put this pretty much together these figures together as you can see it was Rika Takarada and Akane Shinjo here are the boxes uh, very uh, beautiful boxes by the way I have them right here so I recorded this video and uh, my <laughs> my dumbass uh, put it on time-lapse all these uh, not all these videos because usually when I try to record uh, I just do it in one go most of the time I try to do it 
Uh, I, I think I did it this time, but for whatever reason, it was on time lapse, so everything was pretty much sped up. The whole video was sped up. You can't hear. There's no audio. If you're familiar with uh, time lapse and messing uh, messing around with videos, you know that you can't really revert those back to regular speed or with sound or anything like that. So I kind of regret saying this, but I, I messed up. I was supposed to uh, show you guys these figures. I'm still going to show you guys at the end of the video uh, what these figures look like. This is the 1-7 scale, obviously, of Agnes Shinjo, 1-7 scale of Rika Takarada. Uh, if you haven't seen the anime SSS Gridman, I recommend it. Uh, it's only one season with 12 episodes. Uh, this That's more of an anime if you're just trying to like you know pass the time. It's pretty interesting. Uh, Rika's... She became a, a very popular uh, waifu, if you will, uh, by a lot of people, simply because she <laughs> she looks kind of thick, how some people would say it. Um, but there's a lot of details in these figures. If you're familiar with the anime, you know that, um, and you have these figures, then you know that they add a lot of details to these figures uh, by adding the kaiju, which is uh, what um, what is it? Akane Shinjo. She pretty much she pretty much sculpts this. Uh, this kaiju to kind of destroy the city it's 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 pretty it's a pretty long story i don't want to spoil it for you guys hopefully you guys watch the anime uh the base is a clear base and um there's the buildings uh akane shinjo obviously she has the kaiju uh the headphones uh the broken phone the juice box the little knife that she uh, kind of sculpts the the kaiju with uh her broken glasses a little notepad she has a little monitor right there and then we have Rika. Rika came with a little uh, less, um, uh, how do you say it? Not details, but uh, less uh, accessories. Uh, accessories. It just had the umbrella, the bag, the backpack, the computer. Well, same as this one, but this one was a little bit uh, more of a pain to assemble because there was a lot of uh, things that you had to move around. Uh, this one, you had to build a drone by yourself. As opposed to Rika, it was just kind of like uh, a lot of notches that you just have to put in. And it was a little bit more simple to assemble. Uh, but like I said, uh, this was supposed to be a separate video. Uh, I'm sorry about that, you guys. I'll try to do my best to next time, you know, make sure that it's not on time lapse when I'm recording. Hopefully this video is not on time lapse right now because then I'll just feel like more of a dumbass. But um, yeah. I'll show you guys a close-up of these figures, including the, the mug and the sticker, just so you guys get a better view of what I got. But yeah, please make sure to like and subscribe uh, if you like the video. Uh, definitely, definitely trying to upload more videos, but as you know, this hobby is a little bit expensive, especially with me ordering more figures plus the statues that I like. Um, those are a bit more expensive, obviously, than just regular figures because of the shipping. They charge you about, I don't know, two, 300, could be even more depending on the weight of the statue. So please bear with me. Uh, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.